My name's Pamela Costello, but it was Pamela much more. And I was born in Kentish Town in 1939 on the 26th of July. When I was three, I went to school in Hendon because we had moved from Kentish Town to Hendon by that time. We were actually evacuated from Algernon Road School. Um, all the children who were to be evacuated were um, all sat on rush mats in the playground. So it must have been uh, towards the, um, June or July. Um, and um, and then we, we had to have um, things fixed to our body, you know, who we were and everything. Um, and eventually, um, eventually um, we all walked from Algernon Road down to the station, which is in Station Road, Hendon, and that's where we got on the train. Um, but everybody had their name and address, and, um, and we were put together with our siblings, my sister Sylvia and my brother Ronnie. And we, we were being evacuated to Derbyshire. From the station, we walked to a school hall um, and we sat in that hall waiting to be um, chosen or selected to go to the people who were going to be our temporary parents, um, i.e. Um, like um, the people who were going to be looking after us. We sat with our siblings in the school hall and then they started allocating the children to different families who were then taking the children away to, you know, to be hosted by that family. Um, Sylvia and Ronnie and myself were in actual fact the last children to be allocated. Uh, but we ended up um, just across the street from the school, Ronnie in one house with a family, and my sister Sylvia and myself in the other, next door. Um, can't remember very much, but Sylvia and I actually did share a room. Um, not particularly. Um, they weren't very welcoming. And um, when it was the morning and when he had to go to school, they didn't give us a drink. We actually had to go to school and get our milk from the school. Um, well, in actual fact, my mother, my father obviously was in the army, so he wasn't around. Um, but my mum and the other two children um, were evacuated to Sheffield to another family. Um, so, so the house in Hendon, in Audley Road, was empty. Um, and as far as I know, I don't, I don't think, we obviously had letters from them, but I can't really remember any letters or things from my mother, to be perfectly honest. No, there was an incident before um, the war finished. My brother Ronnie, um, I mean, I think I was four or five, and he is six years older than me. So he was probably about 10, but he actually ran away from the house next door. He didn't tell Sylvia and I that he was going to do that. Um, and he somehow managed to get all the way back to Audley Road, Hendon on his own. And he was living in our house, um, only eating the fruit from the trees in the garden and any vegetables that were left in the um, vegetable patch that my father had grown. Um, until he was noticed by a neighbour climbing the tree and then she took him in and um, and then what happened then, Ronnie, Sylvia and myself were evacuated to stay with a family in Sheffield with my mother, with the other two children. I do have, in our street, right opposite our house was... Um, um, a great big shelter um, and we had a shelter in the um, dining room which was a metal table which you could hide under if the bombs started falling and we also had um, another shelter in the garden that we could go to as well so well, there was a choice of three shelters 
Um, but I think towards the end of the war, the shelter in the street was the one that most people used. I know that in the milk was delivered by horse and cart in our street, um, and we all took it in turns to help the milkman. Um, and um, and it's and we all, all the children in the street played in the street. We all played together in the street. Once the war was over, um, we that's what we did all the time. We all played in the street. I I know when the war ended, because my father came back, and the first thing he did was wash all our faces in the sink. Because we must have been pretty filthy. <laughs> Which he wasn't very, very welcome. <laughs> he was mentioned in dispatches and, it's, and he was Ronald Charles much more. <laughs>